a while back we installed uh, Windows and uh, Kali Linux in Adobe, which means that we're in the same system on the same hard drive. So today we are going to remove Kali Linux and remain with only Windows without affecting any file from the Windows side. So this can also apply to other Debian distributions like uh, Ubuntu and also other uh, versions of Windows like uh, Windows 10 and Windows 7 so long as they, they were in a dual boot. So pay close attention when we are doing tests because chances of you losing data from other partitions is high so be very careful especially when you are deleting the partitions because that's what we are going to start with. Then from there we are going to mount Windows to our USB drive and then you start to go to the recovery mode. So this is very important and I'm going to explain to you why we need to use a USB drive with Windows mounted on it instead of pressing on a shift and then restarting the computer. So let's get to the computer and first of all prepare our hard drive for the removal of all the Kali Linux files. So I like using shortcuts, Windows X, then go to disk management because you want to delete the partition we created a while back and make sure you remember exactly the partition that you installed your Kali Linux in because you might de delete other partitions which are important. Partition C, this is where we have our operating system, actually you see it's NTFS. So that's where we have that. But uh, this is our second partition. This is where we have Kali Linux. So I'm going to right click on it. Hit on delete. Yes, you're going to lose all the data. Actually, that's the intention. And if you downloaded things in your Kali Linux side, make sure you back up that first before going uh, this direction. Click on OK. It's going to take some seconds. And uh, now we, we are done deleting. So you have an allocated space. You can do two things. One. Uh, maintain this as a partition but with a NTFS a file format or you can add this unallocated space to C so that you get one huge partition so either way if uh, I want to if I want to make this a separate partition just right click go to new simple volume next next yes I want it uh, I want to assign it D click on next NTFS you can uh, change the volume label Click on next and finish. And just like that, you have two partitions, C and D. So if your, your intention was to merge this D to C, let's go back to where we were, delete, yes. So you have an allocated space. So you go to the C because that's where we, we want to add the unallocated space to. And then you right click, click on extend volume, next, yeah, just click on next and they've matched so now we have one big uh, partition so choose the one that will work for you and uh, now that you are done with this part you are going now to restart so i have my flash drive here it has windows mounted in here for those of you who are new to mounting windows i have a video it will pop up somewhere here or you can just go to the channel and peruse and check a place where we mount windows to a usb drive you're going to use this to access the recovery options and uh, it's very easy from this point yeah so going to plug it in and then you're going to restart boot to usb drive and then because you're going to use the normal installation route along the way we are going to divert and then go to exactly where we want to recover now that boot so remember when we are installing both kali linux and windows the grab was changed uh the mbr which is master boot record was uh edited to accommodate both Windows and the Kali Linux. Now we want to remove the Kali Linux part and only remain with Windows. If we don't do that, if we just delete the partition and then restart the computer, you're going to get a grab error, uh, a grab rescue screen, which means that you can't boot your Windows because there's no grab in it. So to avoid all of that, we're going to use this. And that's why it's very important for you to use a USB drive as compared to now deleting the partition because when you, you hold on shift and then you restart your computer will require the grab to go back to the recovery mode and uh, that's where you, you're going to get stuck because you'll go to the grab rescue so to avoid all of that after deleting everything we are going to mount windows here we are going to use this to access the recovery options and i'm going to restart and boot the computer into that usb drive I pressed on escape and then I'll navigate to boot menu which is F9. So I like starting with escape and then F9 because sometimes when you directly restart and then press on F9 and especially when you have a slower USB drive, it might take a while for the system to read that USB drive. 
and uh, it might not show up so first i usually like pressing on escape first and uh, by the time i'm pressing on uh, f9 it will have read all the attached devices and uh, that's where i'll get now my usb drive so i hit on enter and then navigate to my usb drive which is now the second option hit on that so it's going to behave as if we are installing windows but somewhere along the way we are going to take a detour and this is exactly what we want repair your computer once i hit on uh, this one it will take me directly to recovery options and this is exactly the point where you're going to do everything hit on troubleshoot and then we open the command prompt let me try to zoom in so that at least we get uh, to see what's happening so we're going to do four things first one we're going to fix the mbr that is the master boot record then we are going to fix the boot. Third, we are going to scan for errors in our operating system that is now from the Windows. And then we are going to rebuild the BCD. First one, fix the MBR. So this is, uh, you type boot track, space, forward slash, fix MBR. Hit on OK. The operation completed successfully. Then we go to the next step, which is boot track space forward slash fix boot hit on enter in most cases it will tell you access denied don't worry let's go to the next one we're going to scan for errors so we go for boot track scan os scan os this may take a while and especially when you're using a hard drive instead of an ssd so be patient with this uh, mine is done completed successfully there were no errors which were identified during the whole thing so we can now rebuild the mbr uh, you do that by typing on a boot track forward slash rebuild bcd hit enter successfully scanned window installation total identification error is zero the operation completed successfully now you can exit and now we can now mm, turn off the PC and restart or you just continue to Windows 11. So it on whichever option that you prefer. And uh, you can remove your USB drive. And like you saw, we didn't get a prompt uh, to choose where you are going to boot to because when you have a dual boot it will ask you whether you want to boot to Kali Linux or Windows we went directly because you have only one OS which is now Windows I want now to go and check whether we have every file from Windows so that we are, we are sure that we didn't lose anything hit on enter and as you can see we have the applications in our desktop like we left hit on uh, Windows E we have one partition because we matched the partitions so if you have anything that maybe you want to add or you want to say put that in the comment region so that we will continue the conversation there so see you in the next one